I'll do a, I'll do a quick guide now on demonic gorillas while we're here. People have asked for it a lot. I think it's worth doing because, well, it's about fucking time. When I do demonic gorillas, I literally just bring a weapon switch. You don't need if you got crystal. If you're in my position where you have a bofa, uh, group I'm in 30 KC by the way, um, and full crystal, just bring a weapon switch. You don't need anything else. You don't need a backpack. It's not important. They are squishy. They die. They haven't got any defense. You, you walk through these cunts like there's no tomorrow. The problem is, is they also do damage to you. If, if they hit three zeros on you in a row, they swap attack style. However, if they hit the third zero on you and you're praying something else, they might not swap attack style, if that makes sense. It's gun. really retarded how it works. Hey, Vana, kill myself. I appreciate the 13 months, dude, but I'm trying to make a guide here. So, shut the fuck up. Basically, every three zeros, he changes attack style. He's already done one mage on me that hit a zero, we know this. So we're gonna go in and pray mage. I pray party as well because I'm a big boy. All right, we're gonna hit him twice. Now what I'm gonna do on the third attack, I'm actually gonna stand back, all right? Which we're gonna range anyway, stand back. And if he moves in, he doesn't move in, he's gonna be ranging. Interesting. He's back on mage. Okay, so it's because I swapped my prayer too early, which is that mechanic I explained earlier, which doesn't normally happen. Maybe it reset too, because it was so long after he attacked me. That's also possible. I'm not too sure on that field, but He's done three range attacks. Now we go back to mage because he hasn't closed the gap. So that's how I know he's going to major range next. Does that make sense? He's going to attack now. All right? And he doesn't move in, so he's going to range. If he moves up to me, he's going to melee. The only time you don't know what he's going to do next is if you're praying melee. If he's meleeing you, so you know he's going to mage. This is really this is a really easy kill. Now he's moved in for melee. All right? So he's going to melee me three times. He can't move in. Yeah, he can. Melee what three times. So now we don't know if he's going to major range, but great I like to pray range King. anyway. You're doing great. Seven trillion seven hundred seventy-seven billion seven hundred seventy-seven million seven hundred seventy-seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven. I will time you the fuck out, dude. So when he's meleeing you, you, you can't tell if he's going to major range next. It is random. So I pray range because I've got better mage defense, and I just fucking wish. Like, just hope for the best, you know? He's gonna mage. You're just gonna have to tank a hit sometimes. Pray mage. That counts as a zero. Two more zeros from mage attacks. And every 50 damage you do, he changes his prey overhead. When you see it, just change. He didn't move in, so he's gonna be ranging now. So we'll hit him. Spec him for the meme. Blowpipe works pretty well, because you can get the blowpipe spec off. He's still got one more range attack on him, I think. The boulders don't count as attacks, so just ignore the boulders. There you go. Three attacks. That's it. That's all it is. Just count to three. That that's literally it. That's probably a really scuffed way to explain how to do demonic gorillas. But that that's literally it. Just like you get every time he finishes meleeing, you're probably gonna have to tank a hit. But it's it's after three zeros he swaps attack styles. So if he hits you, it still has to be three zeros, if that makes sense. I like to hang out here in this spot. In my opinion, this is the best spot to kill demonic gorillas. Because it's not multi-combat. It's multi-combat if you go south of this wall, so don't go below the arch. And tormented gorillas normally don't fucking come down here. And now that I've like lost aggro, there's no more aggro here. I'm pretty safe. I can just stand here. Now I can take my time. I'm not pressured into killing the next demonic gorilla back and forth. You can go upstairs, I think. I don't go up there. This place is always quiet. No one's over here. There's two gorillas. You can just teabag. Three if you want. Just try not to run down there. This is a great spot to do it. It's quiet, it's free, it's cheap. And you, yeah, you don't get fucked. I'm gonna run away when I melee, he walks to me, it's melee. That's a zero, one more zero. We're gonna pray range, just in case. I don't know if they use major range more often than not. I think it's completely random. I don't think there is a way to tell. Rune Light used to do it for you, but uh, they removed that plugin because it was just fucking cheating. Upstairs fucks because I'm real bad. This is great to learn. Yeah, that's, look, I'll re-upload this after the stream so you can re-watch it and learn from it, man. Pretty easy guide. Very easy to do. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge! You got a big boy.